Macy. Thorn. I'm glad to see you. And I'm surprised. I wasn't sure that you ever want to talk to me again. I guess I just found it difficult to stay away. You did? Macy, this is not going to be easy. Thorn. Nobody ever said it would be. Nobody ever, ever said it would. But it could be worth it. Sometimes. Some of the most difficult things are. So I just had a meeting with Ridge. A meeting? Yeah, it was supposed to be business, but it ended up being about you. You mean about my mother? Yeah, something like that. Ridge feels that the Spectras have been nothing but problems for the foresters from day one and that they have been after us and that they still are they you mean me don't you well that's what he thinks that's what they all think well do you agree with them i have my doubts about the spectres about their methods But there's one thing that I am sure of. What's that? I love you, Macy. I love you too, Thor. So... What are we going to do about this? What do you want to do about it? I want to love you. I want to close out the rest of the world and just love you. I want that too. But it's, it's next to impossible, Macy. I mean, here you are. And you belong here. And, and there I am in what amounts to be the enemy camp. So what you're saying is you love me and you want to be with me. But the world is getting in the way. And not the whole world, but the forester corner of it. Yeah. Something like that. So this is goodbye. This is I love you. Goodbye. In a way. In a way, I mean, either it is or it isn't. You see, I know what I want. And I want you. I want you more than anything. And, yes, this, this is a goodbye. But it's not to you. I'm saying goodbye to Forrester. Forrester. It's your family. It's your life. No, no, it's my past. And you're my future. I love you. And I am not going to mess this up. And if that means that I have to leave and I have to go work someplace else, I will do it. I will do it.
Hey. Hey, Macy. Come on, lose the frown. <sighs> Honey, I don't know about you, but this is the best thing that has happened to me in so long. You know, I dreamed of this moment, Bowen. And for weeks, I wondered if I'd ever feel this again. Your arms around me, your love. You know, I honestly didn't think that it would happen for us. We almost lost it. The one thing that is the most important thing in our lives, and we almost let it go. But you know what? It's not going to happen. Because I'm not going to let anyone separate us. Not your family, not my family, no one. like this, Thorne Forrester. And you know what? It just gets better and better. <laughs> <sighs> I want this relationship to work out. I really do. Without your having to leave Forrester. Well, I, I want that too, but if it doesn't work it out that way... It will work out, Thorne. We will make it work out. Because if we don't, our relationship doesn't stand a chance. No, no, that is not true. <sighs> Think about it, Thorne. How can I feel comfortable knowing that I pulled you away from your family? Honey, if I leave, that's not your responsibility. <sighs> All right, it's not my decision. It's yours. But you give it a year or two or maybe even five, and at some point, you're going to miss that business. You're going to miss your family. And I am going to see it, no matter how hard you try to hide it. And that's when things are going to fall apart for us, Thorne. At least they will for me, because I will take it on as my responsibility, regardless of what you said. Your family means a lot to you. And it means a lot to me, too. And I'm not going to tear yours apart. I want to be a, a part of your family, Thorne. And I want to be accepted as the woman who loves you. Who's devoted to you. And who would do anything on God's earth to make you happy. your way. I want this to be your way, Juthorn. I... I can see your point. Do you, Thorne? Do you understand what this would do to you and me if you left Forrester? It wouldn't work. No. It couldn't work. We have to make this relationship acceptable to your family and to mine. And do you realize what you are asking is a hell of a lot? Our families could not be any more polarized. We are total opposites. Well, then we work on them, Thorne. Now, they can hate each other, but they're gonna have to accept us. Okay, look, we don't... We don't have to talk about this right now. We've got plenty of time for this. For the rest of our lives. The rest of our lives. Could we just go back couple of weeks. Well, where do we leave off? We were in a restaurant. Where? And I had... I'd given you something, hadn't I? Mm-hmm. And I gave it back the next day. Promise me you will never give it back to me.
That, young lady, never comes off this finger. you now listen to me honey come on how long have you been lying here i don't know i don't know how long i've been here with the rats and the roaches but that's all it is for me now Thorn. your beautiful classy wife is passed out in the alley with the garbage Or just please, just go. To leave you here. Lord, I doubt my last few ounces of dignity. Don't take that away by showing me your pity. It's not what I need. This is not pity. Of course it is. Damn it, Macy. I care about you. I'll be fine. Really. Don't worry, I, I'm not going to spend the rest of the night out here in this pile of garbage. No, where are you going to spend it? I'll go inside. To the bar. No, it's closed. No, it's never closed for you, Macy. Sly would never do that to you. Don't get on Sly's case, Thorne. He's been a very good friend. No, a good friend would never let you do this to yourself. Sly is not responsible for me. No one is responsible for you. Least of all yourself. Which is why I am here and why I am not leaving you. I want you to get in the car, Macy. We're getting out of here. But this is my home, so I don't have anywhere else to go. Yes, you do. Where? You're coming home with me. You can stay in the guest room. I want to do this. Why? Damn it, Macy, how could you ask me that? How could you not know the way I feel about you and what it does to me to see you like this? Do you really think I would let you go back in that bar, that I would leave you here? No, never. Now, either you get into that car right now, or I'm going to spend the rest of the night in this alley with you. But you are not going into that bar to drink. And I am not leaving here without you. Now, which is it? It's your choice, Macy.
you're free. Yeah, I see. Finally. Oh, Lord. Oh. They let you out. Anthony took my place. And they got the whole confession on tape. Every word of it. He's finished. Oh, honey. How's your mom? She's not good. They operated? Yes, they operated. They removed the bullet. They see, she is a fighter. Your mom is going to pull through this. I don't know. No, I know it. I know it. Believe me, your mother is not through with this life yet. She's got a lot of unfinished business. What do you mean? I mean, like, like spoiling her grandchildren and driving me crazy. She has not even lived half her life, if that. I thought of her as a grandmother. <laughs> Sweetheart, she's going to have those kids wrapped around her fingers. She's going to have them scheming and conniving and... I'm gonna love every minute of it. Children. You and me. It's gonna happen, Macy. We're through the worst now. And believe me, trust me on this. Sally is going to pull through. Is that a guarantee? Absolute guarantee. We made it. know that you don't want to see me. No, Macy, let me do the talking, okay? I've been going kind of nuts over this whole thing, and I've barely slept in a week, and I can't go on this way, Macy, so I've made a decision, and you're going to hear me out before you say one word about it. You got that? Last week, you sent me away, and you did it for me because you didn't want me to see you suffer. And that's fine. And I appreciate the gesture, but there's something that I don't think you figured on, Macy, something that I don't even think crossed your mind. You know what that is? Watching you suffer is bad. It's really bad. But there's something that's a million times worse than that. And that's knowing that you're suffering alone. That I can't handle. Just the thought of you up here in this hospital bed by yourself. I've had my mother here. No, Macy, that isn't enough. Sure, your, your mother loves you, but you need someone who cares about you the way I care about you, Macy. The way only I care about you. You need me. And that's why I've come back here. And I am not leaving. And whatever it is that 
you are going through, we are going to go through it together. And don't argue with me, Macy, because this time I get the final word. Now, tell me about your operation. I want to hear exactly what the doctor said. Honey, whatever it is, we can deal with it and we can handle it. You are not alone. I'm here, Macy, and I am not leaving. Now tell me about your condition. What's, what is the prognosis? Macy, there is nothing that you can't tell me. Nothing. I'm not going to change my mind at this point, so even if the news is bad, it's fine. We're going to deal with it, but it's going to be us, you and me. We're going to fight this battle together from now on. Do you hear me? Why? What do you mean, why? Honey, if I walk out that door right now, I have absolutely nothing without you. Look, I don't know what your condition is, but I do know that I am going to be here with you every step of the way. And I don't care what it means or what the demands are. I'm here. And I'm not going anywhere. Now tell me, what did the doctor say? He said that he, he cut out the cancer. All of it. And it hadn't spread. It was localized. And it's, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Oh, baby. Oh, Macy. Oh, honey. This is incredible. I guess I made it this way. I knew this. I knew that you were going to be fine. Oh, honey. Oh. Thank God. There is a downside, though. A pretty big one. I may not ever sing again. I mean, it's not certain, but it's very possible that my singing career is over. So Macy may never sing again. I'm so sorry. What do you mean you're sorry? You may have just lost your singing partner. Macy, you just told me that you're not going to die. Do you think I care about singing right now? <laughs> Honey, sweetheart, you are going to live, Macy. I've got you for another 50 years. Hell, the fact that you could never hold another note, I couldn't care less. <laughs> you are so sweet. You just always know the right thing to say. This isn't just something to say. These aren't just words. I want you to know what it means to me. You coming by, you offering to stand by me no matter what. You're a real friend. Not many people would offer to go through that. Well, maybe I am a good friend, and I appreciate your compliment, but the way I feel about you right now goes a lot deeper than just friendship. What a day. First, the good news from the doctor, and then you come by. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. Yes, it does. 
I've, um, I've been thinking a lot over the last couple of days, and if I've learned anything, I've learned that you and I belong together. And no matter what that doctor would have said to you, I would still be here right now asking you this question and hoping that you would give me the same answer. I want you to marry me. I want you to be my wife. You want to marry me? Only this time we're going to make it last forever. Would you tell me yes? As you know, I have been recovering from throat cancer, and I was told I may not ever sing again. And Thorn, you have just been so wonderful to me throughout all this. But I have been seeing my doctor recently, and since I promised my husband a wedding present that he would never forget, well, Thorn, this is for you. Well, come on, Thorne. Don't just stand there. Sing with her. Sweet, let's go make a fire. 